Getting creative outdoors. Benefits of an outdoor workout. Number one, it's good for your mind and body. We work out mostly for the physical benefits, but what about the mental boost? A research team from the Peninsula College of Medicine and Dentistry analyzed 11 trials including more than 800 adults and found that outdoor exercise was associated with increased energy and revitalization as well as decreased confusion, anger, depression, and tension when compared with exercising indoors. Outdoor participants also reported enjoying their workouts more and said they are more likely to repeat them than participants who are closed up behind a door. It may make you feel better about yourself. When you're at the gym, it can sometimes feel like all eyes are on you. When you're exercising in nature, the local wildlife doesn't care about your struggle. Exercise in general is good for your confidence, but outdoor exercise may be even better. There is evidence from the University of Essex that working out in nature can improve your self-esteem. Number three, outdoor fitness may be easier to stick with. Creating an exercise habit is difficult, but finding one you enjoy can make it easier to come back to. So that shot of pleasure you get from being outdoors may mean it's more likely you'll stick to your program. Canadian researchers found postmenopausal women reaped more benefits from outdoor workouts and were significantly more likely to adhere to their training program than those who did their exercising indoors. Number four, soaking up the sunshine benefits. While unprotected overexposure to the sun's ultraviolet rays can increase your risk of cancer, we shouldn't overlook the many benefits of sunlight. When the sun hits our skin, it creates vitamin D3, important to bone health and metabolic function. In addition, exposure to sunlight during the day can help you sleep better at night improve immune function and increase endorphin production those feel-good hormones circulating throughout your body channeling your inner child just because you aren't a kid anymore does not mean you can't still go outside and get in a good workout it might just take a little creativity and thinking outside the box our bodies are capable of so much don't limit yourself to conventional dumbbells and machines all the time. Use your body as a machine and your surroundings as your resistance. Bodyweight exercises and outdoor cardio are great ways to challenge your body while enjoying the beautiful weather. Did you know that we had a playground near the garden out back? Well, now you do. There are so many exercises you can do with the equipment provided. Just a few lower body examples are bench step ups, bench squats, bench jumps, split squats, and single leg squats. High, repetition, high repetitions such as 15 to 20 per exercise are perfect to get that good burn. There are many upper body exercises that can also be performed such as pull ups, push ups, chin ups, inverted rows, and tricep dips. Push-ups can also be performed on a higher elevation, such as a bench or a picnic table, for ease of the exercise. Some great core exercises that can be performed on the playground include sit-ups, bench hop-overs, which also work the shoulders, V-ups, L-sits, elevated planks, and elevated mountain climbers. Please do not hesitate to ask the Working Well staff to demonstrate any of these exercises. We realize that we tend to use terms that everyone may not be familiar with, so please ask. That's what we are here for and we love interacting with our members. The curb is a great place to get your heart rate up. Timing yourself for 30 seconds can count as one repetition. If jumping hurts your knees, keep one leg stationary on the curb and touch the back leg quickly on and off the ground. Some great examples for using the curb would be single leg hops, alternating hops, or single leg lateral step ups or hops. Below are some examples of some great full body work that can also be done on the curb. While in a high plank, you will raise one arm off the ground and place it on the curb Next, you'll bring your other arm up to complete the rep. You'll now be in a high plank on the curb instead of on the ground. Repeat 30 seconds on one side and then switch your lead arm. 
burpees on a curb are really fun and are actually easier than strictly doing them on the ground. We've covered some exercises that can be done on the curb, so next let's move to the parking lot. A parking lot can, eat, can be used for even more than just parking cars. Using the lines for any running, shuffling, or jumping exercises is a great way to get your cardio in. Just be sure to watch out for cars. Some examples would be shuffles, a double leg hop over, a single leg hop over, and then triceps extensions. Suicides and broad jumps can be paired together in a workout back to back or performed between two body weight exercises to get in some more interval training. An awesome group to think about joining would be the November Project. The November Project is a free fitness movement that was born in Boston as a way to stay in shape during cold New England months. Now present in multiple cities and across four time zones in North America, the movement is using a simple sense of accountability to motivate and encourage people of all ages, shape, sizes, and fitness levels to get out of their beds and get moving. Our members vary from Olympic medalists, professional athletes, marathoners, triathletes, current and former collegiate athletes, all the way to complete fitness rookies and recent couch potatoes just looking to kickstart their healthy life choices. If you think that you're not fit enough to join the group, stop thinking and come see what all the fuss is about. How can you join? Simple. Just show up. The Working Well staff We'll be incorporating some of these outdoor workouts in our fitness classes and we hope that you have learned some new exercises that you can take outside this summer.